up, bro? I'm Rain the Hippie. In case you didn't notice why I'm standing by this water here, I don't really know why I'm here either. So I think I'll just take you through Anna's high school just because of how cool it is. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if an eagle flew through here? It's cool to love the environment, man. That's why I'm here hugging this tree. I just love nature and everything. So here's some announcements from some people who really care about the environment. Hello, Animus High School Ospreys. Thanks for another amazing week. SLCs were quite a positive experience and from what I saw, very successful. So thank you for your efforts there. A uh, few announcements. First, uh, the annual Charter School Essay Contest, sponsored by the Colorado League of Charter Schools, is right now in full effect. Um, you have until April 8th to produce an essay. If your essay is strong and chosen as a winner, you'll be headed up to Denver to deliver your essay on the steps of the Capitol and to also earn yourself a scholarship from College Invest. If you're interested in doing a little writing and going after a scholarship, come see me ASAP. A friendly reminder that the Flower Power Fundraiser continues until next Friday. Please make sure you are selling your flowers and supporting your school. You've probably seen the posters around school regarding the safe driving class coming up next week. I encourage you all to attend. It is going to be a course that discovers um, some truths about teenage driving, dispels some myths about teenage driving, and focuses on distracted driving. Now, I've never seen a teenager text at an inappropriate time, but they tell me they're out there. Um, this course could not only save your life, it could save the lives of other motorists. I encourage you all to participate in the safe driving class. See the Lodge announcement board for details and sign-ups on that. How do you feel about hippies? I find them inspiring. Yeah, that's all. Next, uh, we need to redefine our boundaries for the park at lunchtime. The playground equipment is now completely off limits. Um, I know you've all been doing a great job with the trash down there and sharing the swings with the little ones, uh, but freshmen with facial hair scare toddlers. And so we're going to just say, during lunch, let's leave the playground equipment to the children and let's take over everything forward, everything south of the playground for our young adults. How do you feel about hippies? <laughs> it's all earth, man. It's all earth. And finally, I'd like to congratulate some Animus High School students who were recently uh, either reappointed to the Mayor's Youth Advisory Council or appointed for the very first time. Um, I'm going to do this from memory. Sorry if I miss anyone. I'll double back and say your name if I forget you. But here we go. Lily Oswald, congratulations on your appointment to the Parks and Rec Board. Sam Kunzel, congratulations on your official appointment to the MIAC Board this year. Daniel Fallon Sear, congratulations on your appointment as an alternate uh, for the MAYAC board and our liaison to the Colorado Senate. Congratulations to Ayana Anderson for being named to MAYAC. Congratulations, Natalie and Nathan Youssef, for your appointments here in town. And I think that's everybody I can remember. Uh, oh, and Nathan Stillwell. Congratulations on your appointment to the Public Lands Board. It's great to see these Ospreys out in the community uh, being involved uh, with the civic process, with the policy process. Um, it's good to have our young adults and their voices driving the direction of this community. So, I've heard talk of this here flower power fundraiser happening during in the school lately. And this reminds me of a bunch of hippies. They're hippies overrunning our school, and we need to get rid of them. So, all of you sophomores that are writing poetry, I have a chance for you to actually win prizes for that poetry. Uh, the Durango Public Library is holding a poetry and short story contest. The entries need to be five pages or less, double-spaced in 12-point font, 
To make it super easy on you, you can bring me your entries by Friday, April 15th, and I will bring them all to the library and submit them. So you're writing poetry anyway, you might as well get paid for it. All right, so in order to also prevail with this, like, being green and being healthy and whatever, we got a new way to save energy and be chill at the same time. Come on, bros. We have these psychedelic new battery chargers. So if you ever want to borrow some double A's and, you know, save the environment at the same time, come see Roxy and she'll be, like, totally willing to hook you up. So you guys have done great so far, bringing in tape and batteries. We are good with batteries, but we're only about a tenth of the way with the packing tape. So if you could bring in more packing tape, that would be great. And I'm going to go hitch a ride to the dentistry. What is it like to be a hippie? It's great. Hi. So if you want to see the rest of this painting, <laughs> then come to the creativity festivity. Woo! Its opening celebration is April 1st, 5 to 7 p.m. <laughs> you know, I like to eat. I really enjoy that time of day where I get to take the pleasure of enjoying all the natural bounty in the world. And I really enjoy eating with you and your advisory groups. But we have to realize that eating together as a group off campus is a privilege, which should never become an expectation or a demand. And we started to feel that this privilege of advisory lunch started to feel like an expectation. And it's tough when an advisory group is maybe off target for three weeks of the month, and then in the fourth month, they demand lunch. That's not working for me. It's not working for the school. It's not working for the faculty. It's not working for the students. So here's what we're going to do moving forward. I am asking student council to work with the assistant head of school to create a proposal on how advisory groups qualify for their once a month lunch. And if the students can present to the staff a proposal that shows us how you're going to keep yourselves accountable for the work you need to do in advisory and then reward yourself with that lunchtime experience, I'm right there with you. Let's go eat. But without a system in place, we have to put a pause on advisory lunches. If you have questions about this, please come talk to me. Come talk to Jake. Please do not stir up rumors or create reasons why you think advisory lunch isn't happening. I'd be happy to cover the details with you in full. Bon appetit. All right, folks. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. We had a major incident. Uh, and immediately after this, I need to see Carly Pearson, Ayana Anderson, Hannah Quick, and Molly Black. Um, I, I hate to tell you this, but you guys are in major trouble, and I need to see you immediately. Just say no, man. Just say no. Happy April Fool's Day. Hi, Animus High Shut School. Up, really. I love flowers and rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> um, everyone needs to keep selling flowers, so um, we only have about another week left. Uh, Stop it! <laughs> we only have like another week left, so keep selling flowers because everyone needs to sell at least $150. And whoever sells the most, I'll make you a cake. The government, man. It's the government. Alright, so it's time for a groovy dance, and I got some ladies over here who can give you the lowdown on everything going on, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, We're having a dance. Yeah. It's a and fundraiser. Yeah. <laughs> it is a fundraiser. And tickets will be available for $10 on next Monday. And the dance will be on the 15th, April 15th. At the main mall from 7 to 9 p.m. Yeah. And you can get tickets for a friend who doesn't go to Animus. Yeah, and it'll be a lot of fun. 
and it's a fundraiser. Remember that. So you should come. Totally copacetic, man. All right. So you probably know I'm on a minimal budget right now. So this is like the best place to find food and clothing. This is the opportunity of a lifetime right now, man. I have an announcement to Mother Earth. We love you. We love you. So and, much. And don't eat farm salmon. Like most people who love the Earth, I like to just purchase exactly what I need. And in order to be a decent hippie, you got to be stylish at the same time. So that's why I got this cool, fake bearskin belt. It comes from some company called Slaughter R Us. So it's pretty sure that it's not a big business company that just tortures animals for its fur.